This is for Rocket 99, rocking the reservation in stereo. Dear, dear, that's right. Welcome to Bracket 99. I am, of course, Mikey Scar, and with you this morning. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, Jesus, it's, uh, it's been one hell of a 420. Happy, happy 420 to you, uh, one and all. It's, uh, it's been a good one, sweetie. Let's get right into the rock. We're going to try something new. We're going to try, uh, we're going to try the YouTube. Uh, Jim Tuck Mido, what do you want from me? So we're going to try this out for a little bit. Uh, get rid of our little lo- Thank you, Jim. And uh, here we go. We're uh, we're checking out Always War from uh, the seventh floor on Brocket 99 Radio. Maybe, Jim? Perhaps? Could we, please? Do I have to kick you? I will kick you. I will kick you straight in the balls. Straight in the balls. That's what will happen. There you go. Again, the seventh floor. Always War on Brocket. 99.
Hey, this is Christo. I'm Blake Guitar for the Broadway Bullies, and you're listening to Rocket 99. Rocket 99! Uh, turning that red skin redder with beastly rock and roll on Rocket 99. <laughs> That was lit like Vegas in Get Set Go on Bracket 99 Radio. We're going to continue on with the music. Uh, not a bunch of bullshit for me today, i got to be honest with you. Uh, so this is uh, Breakout Day and the Nights That Made It on Bracket 99 Radio. Oh, what's this called? What's this for? Halo. Oh, look at you using that. Good job. Change it all 
I used to want to try and fix everything we could have missed. You might think you're an angel, soon you're gonna call it quits. Before I take up your halo, could you grant me just one last wish? You might think you're an angel, something sore of divine. Before I take up your halo, could you be all of mine? of your ignorance It's all coming back to haunt me Like a constant bad dream Scribbled out and faded Are the nights, the nights that made it To give you Twins are creepy. That's, um, Jesus. They're just, they're just really creepy. What up? This is LD50 from the Late Night Crew telling all the ladies to stop your squawking and start your rocking. Rocking the reservation with Mikey Scar. You're listening to Brocket 99. Hot rock.
There's Grayscale and Change on Rocket 99 Radio, and you know, it is that time again. It, it, uh, you know, it is. Rocket 99 News. Alright, so, uh, you know, different format, different uh, way of getting things done around here. It's, uh, you know, it's a good done. It's, it's, it's something new. Jim's uh, fucking with my universe a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's alright. Uh, there is, before we get into the news, a, uh, video, there is, sometimes I get videos, uh, sent to me in my email, and, uh, what you're going to see now is a, um, well, it's sort of a message, I guess, uh, this was sent to me by one of our listeners, it's a Huffington Post thing, and it's about, uh, well, it's about whiteys becoming the minority, and it's not just America, it's, it's happening in uh, Canada too, but you know, that's, uh, that's just the way it's going to go. So anyways, here it is, a warning to whiteys, uh, I, and honestly, I haven't pre-screened this, so uh, Jim could be uh, shit into bed on this one too. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, white people will go from being the majority to a minority group in the next 25 years. Yeah, and to make this transition a little less traumatic, we've put together this helpful educational guide. White people, they used to be everywhere. In our homes, at our jobs, and on our juries. For years, white people were the majority in this country. And when you're the majority, America feels like one long sing-along around the campfire. But those days are about to come to an end. That's right, it won't be long before white people in America will be just another minority. Going from majority to minority in America can be painful. Just ask the American Indian. Luckily, America is very clear on how minorities should be treated. Here are some helpful guidelines to get you started. The first thing you'll need to do is find a new place to live. Why, look at all those lovely suburban homes. How can anyone choose? Now, you don't have to. As a minority, society chooses for you. You'll be limited to your city's high crime, low income neighborhoods, making searching for that home sweet home easy as pie. Ah, the freedom of the open road. Now that you're a minority, driving's a new kind of adventure. Simply driving a car while white means you'll automatically be under suspicion of having committed a violent crime. And when the policeman pulls you over, do exactly what he says. Because in America, it's not unusual for minorities to be shot for not being arrested quickly enough. Until recently, the only crimes people blamed the whites for were harmless violations like corporate malfeasance resulting in global economic collapse and the occasional mass murder. But as a minority, you can expect to be blamed for all the crime. Managed to stay out of the clink? Well, Jimmy Crack Corn! Now it's time to find a job. While it used to be that the working world was your occupational oyster, you'll now find your options limited to a career in the lawn maintenance, migrant farming, and table busing industries. Oh, and remember, don't think of it as job hunting anymore. As a minority, you should think of it as taking our jobs. So, say hello to the new America. Sure, the loss of white privilege might take some getting used to, but there's no reason why, with a few simple downgrades to your expectations, you should become a proud, happy, constructive member of society. A society in which you're a minority! Jesus. Hey, it's, thanks for watching. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click ladies. here for more videos. And make sure to catch new episodes Friday at 9 p.m. That's awful. Uh, it was a terrible message. I mean, no, it wasn't really that terrible. It was actually, it's actually more accurate than I'd like to admit. All right, uh, let's get back to the news the here on Brock at 99. And uh, luckily with that awesome video, uh, there's only a couple uh, news stories to read, which is good. Well, the headline on this one, uh, it, it uh, speaks awesome, R just for the headline. Tulsa man smashes roommate with beer bottle in iPhone versus Android argument. Who hasn't? Uh, 
Obviously. Uh, stepping a guy who doesn't agree with your choice of smartphone doesn't seem very smart. Uh, well, it depends on what circles you're running with, I guess. Uh, police in Tulsa, Oklahoma arrested a man who allegedly did that to his roommate early Friday morning. Uh, anyways, Jesus, turned on a fucking screaming gym. Uh, officers and uh, Ale- said Elias uh, a- Acevedo, 21, and his roommate, Giro, <laughs> Giro Mendez, got highly uh, highly intoxicated in the parking lot of the apartment complex where they lived. Well, of course. I mean, Jesus, I didn't think this was a sober argument. Uh, anyways, at some point, they began arguing over which cell phone, Android, or Apple was better. Uh, during the argument, Acevedo allegedly struck Mendez in the back of the head with a beer bottle, uh, then left his roommate on the ground. Uh, police were called to the scene after getting a report of a bleeding man stumbling around the area. Uh, they found Mendez covered in blood, and he told them about the Apple versus Android argument with Acevedo. Uh, Mendez's car was found in the parking lot. Acevedo was found in the apartment he shared with the victim. He was covered in blood and had several lacerations on his uh, body. According to a police report obtained, uh, whatever. Both Mendez and Acevedo were taken to the local hospitals and treated for non life threatening injuries. They were just retarded. Acevedo was charged with assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Jail records also show he was being held for uh, Immigrations and Customs Enforcement. Huh, really? No kidding. All right, so there you go. Apple versus Android. Just be careful who you're arguing with. Just just going to put that out there. All right. Um, now, apparently, this is, uh, this is becoming more commonplace, uh, which is a little bit alarming. A woman became distracted behind the wheel and wound up driving into a sidewalk, into a fence, and then tumbling over a barrier into a children's playground where it came to a stop on a slide. Nobody was injured in the incident, uh, but apparently the woman whose name was not released was issued citations for allegedly driving without a license, driving with her seven-year-old son not secured in a safety seat. Jesus Christ, driving off the road. Now, uh, she said that she became distracted, so my question, I guess, obviously, is going to be just what distracted this stupid bitch. So here's some pictures in uh, in chat if you're watching this there, or if you're watching it on the YouTube or the uh, do your stream. Uh, here's the pictures. Uh, that's one hell of a wreck. Jesus. That place structure standing up to a hell of a lot, though, i got to be honest with you. So let's see here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's... Listen, it's... Uh, the stupid uh, article started off with, like, slides aren't scary enough. And that's, well, listen, that's just stupid whitey logic right there. Jesus Christ, how did the kids survive this? God damn it. Oh, there's some Michael. All right, so, uh, you know, it's just a bunch of ridiculous stupid shit. But apparently, um, the slides, uh, yes, here's how it starts off. Slides are scary enough already with having, having to worry about the car. When do slides become scary, you fucking rich white assholes? God damn it, Richmond, California. I, I don't know if that's a very uh, well-to-do area or not, but... Uh, Sounds like it is because Jesus, Deptant in Christ, if that slides scare you, god damn it, Whitey, get out. Alright, you're going back to the rock and roll. This is uh, Your Guardian Angel, and uh, it's uh, being played by Saving Skylar on Barocket Barocket. 99 Radio. Jesus Christ, Jim. This is the gayest music ever. What's the matter with you? Look at this kid. Honestly, is the hair supposed to distract me from his gigantic nose? And singing from his nose? Jesus. Oh, I want to slit my wrists right now. Honest to Christ, Jim. How is this? Even, I, look at, even the keyboardist is embarrassed. No, no, Jim. Let's just let this play through for our listeners. Let them see what I have to put up with on a daily basis from you. Goddamn whitey music. It is not okay. 
Jesus. You're a whiny little prick. You know what? When you got pubes, you can start whining about shit again. Days grow longer and nights grow shorter. I can show you I'll be the one. I will never let you fall. I'll stand up with you forever. Ugh. I'll be there for you through it all. Even if saving you. Oh yes, please go follow this guy on Twitter, on Twitter for saving Skyler. Jesus. Oh, God damn it. Oh. 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 I think I just threw up and it's on my mouth. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. It only took uh, three minutes to get to this. Jesus Christ, Jim. That took a long time to get to something worth listening to. You know that? Okay, like, for future reference, Jim, just for future reference, if if a song is, is uh, four minutes long and it takes three minutes to get to something worth listening to on this show, don't fucking cue it up, all right? God damn it. Fucking take you back to radio school every goddamn fucking time. Bracket 99, rocking the reservation in stereo. Not this week. God damn it, Jim. All right, this is Go Fly Win by O Icarus. That's ah, more like it. A Bracket 99. Who's to say? 
This is James Lawrence rocking the reservation with Mikey Scar, Canada's biggest asshole. You're listening to Bracket 99. Rock. And that was Clay Fighter in Tradition as the band. It's, uh, that's not bad. It's a lot better than that other shit that uh, Jim was having us listen to. Now, uh, let's see what we're going to get going on here. We've got, oh, yes. Of course, uh, every good nerd knows that uh, Star Wars is coming. And the latest trailers come out. And uh, listen, this just wouldn't be a good radio show if we didn't have it playing here. Especially since we've got the visual shit now. So, YouTube... You stream, you're lucky, you're going to be able to see and hear this wonderfulness. So here you go, the uh, the latest Star Wars uh, trailer. Hits the nerd buttons for just about everybody, I think.
course. It's uh, I I will still say uh, that the bad guy's uh, fucking lightsaber with the stupid pommel light up thing is retarded. I mean, Jesus. The whole point of the pommel is to block uh, a sword blow. Gee, everyone knows that. We just throw a fucking lightsaber there, whatever. Fucking stupid. But anyways, the uh, the 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 video hits all those good little nerve things. All those little nerd impulses, which is always good. And of course, uh, you know, having Hansel at the end there, of course, with Chewie, uh, who we usually have. Uh, well, let's see. I think we have him on the show every now and then. Let's see if we got to marry Chewie. Are, are you there? Thank you. All right. Let's go back to the music. We got uh, footsteps, and uh, maybe next time on Barucket 99 Radio. Choose next step carefully and don't forget to breathe because you don't know where they can take you. They might take you far. go jesus uh footsteps and uh you know it's a pretty good song i think it's uh it, it's not terrible uh the videos where they do the whole text flying by thing is a little bit weird i mean it's not terrible or anything it's just a little bit weird is all so anyways we're gonna end this week with uh dead to me triumph over adversity on Barocket 99 radio <laughs>
this mess Running in circles trying to escape But reality comes and slaps us in the face That was it. That is dead to me. Triumph over adversity on Burrock Catch 99 Radio. That's going to be it for us this week. Uh, a couple of little things we've added. Uh, the playlist, so that you don't have to listen to my stupidity, is uh, up there on uh, on our YouTube page. That's uh, the playlist for this week. Uh, just to give credit to everybody that uh, whose music helped make the show. So there you go. Playlist is up there under April 20th, 2015. Uh, good old fashioned uh, pot day and listen it's been whew, it's been one hell of a day I got to tell you alright so that's it for me Mikey Scar check out the twitter brocket 99 radio email me at brocket 99 radio at gmail.com uh, I've had a few uh, comedians uh, hitting up the twitter uh, lately so if uh, if you are a comedian and you would like to be associated with the awesomeness that is Rocket 99. I don't know why you commit career suicide like that, but whatever. Uh, if you want to be on the show, just uh, email me at rocket 99 radio gmail.com. We'll talk. Uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see what Mikey can do for you. All right. Uh, check out, uh, listen, the Facebook continues to uh, to go balls to the wall, so go ahead and like it over there, I guess. 
Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, you know, five stars on uh, on the iTunes and uh, on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up. Jesus, that's the only way other people find us. That's the only way to show. Uh, listen, can continue. So there you go. Check that shit out. Until next week. Uh, listen, I have. Uh, oh, Jesus. I shouldn't have had the last talk before I went back on the air. Oh, God damn it. Still better than Jim. Still able to function. Do you see that, Jim? Radio professional. I don't know what the fuck you were doing for the last three years, but god damn, you're a lazy fuck. All right, that's it for Broken 99 Radio this week. Mike Iscari and Witcher, and we'll see you assholes again next week. Later. Oh, <laughs> shit.